with a Coney. Never thought that this year I have a deal with Sony. Little TJ SB, I'm the one and only. And I just came home and everybody know me. Let's give it up for little TJ. <laughs> This is, I like having New York artists on the show because it feels like a little bit of like a homecoming parade. We had Yana May from Brooklyn, of course, a few weeks back. You're from the Bronx, the birthplace of hip hop. Is that a responsibility you feel a little bit as an artist when you come from there? Yeah, it feel like, I ain't gonna lie, honestly, being from the Bronx, it feel good just to know it's like, it's the home of hip hop, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just another reason to keep my head high. So who shaped, what artist shaped your uh, sound just early on? It doesn't have to be Bronx artists or New York artists, but who, who was big for you? Like. I grew up listening to artists like Lil Wayne, Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of them. Like, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, too. Like, yo, when I was little, that's like, I'm glad, yo. Shit, like, I'm gonna just be honest. I'll tell you right now, he's I'm an honest man. Honest, like, and I'm glad you said that because the first time I ever heard this man's music was at the OVO shop down on Bond Street here in New York City. And they were just playing it off of a SoundCloud link. This is like over a year ago. And you were doing Baby by Bieber. And I thought that was so cool. You were flipping it, you made it your own, but where'd that come from? You were a believer back I just, in the like, day? I don't know. Like I'm a, I'm like I'm creative. I try to be creative, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if that, like, if that caught the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might as well just feel me. And the rest was history for hip hop's heartthrob. Uh, you call yourself the Prince of New York. Where'd you get that name from? Um, it was just like I felt like I was the youngest putting on. It was like it's still nobody really like my age really putting on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, feel me? I'm what do you guys think? Is he the Prince of New York? Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> now, uh, now give me your princess. Who's the princess in New York? If you're the prince, who are you making your princess? princess? Look, Shoot your shot right gotta... now. Okay, look. <laughs> who can say me the loudest? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess she the princess. There we go. Ooh. I'm convinced you can see the future, little TJ. If you go back to Forbes, a song you dropped two years ago, man, in that video, you go, look at us right now, and then look at us in two years. It's going to be a complete difference. And here we are two years later. You're on 16 when you said that. Where do you get that foresight from? Talk to, talk Honestly, to me about like, the vision. I always been real confident in myself, and it's like I, I like I don't know how, but it just always felt like I was going to be successful since I was a kid. Like okay. I, like I don't know, like I don't know what made me believe it so strongly, but like I could tell, like it's a lot of people that like I know that I used to be like, yo, like watch me be famous one day, and they'd be like, yo, it's crazy. T.J. Dead said this before. So, but you know what's important? You put in the work too. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the thing too. Like it's just that I put in the work. I knew I was going to do it. Like you know, what I'm saying anything that you really. Go for hard enough, you could do it. Especially if you've seen somebody else do it before. Like, yeah, so. yeah, I love that, man. I love that. The uh, the song that made our countdown on TRL Top Ten earlier this year, "Pop Out" with Polo G. You guys know this one. This is a banger. House parties, clubs, everybody loves this one. Streaming numbers just out the wazoo, dude. How did you two link up, you and Polo G? Um, me and Polo, like, we both we we both signed to the same label. You know what I'm saying? So like, I guess it was just like a connection through there. Like we had just organic, like natural. yeah, we just like linked up in the studio. This was the first song we ever like made together too. Really? So, and it came yeah. out this good. Yeah, we didn't like this. Is the first song we ever made, and we just did the video. I gotta ask, whose whose house is this? Um, my boy Molly, my boy Molly's crib. You know what I'm saying? You do great work with Polo G there. I love your collabs. Give me like your top three people you want to collab with right now that you haven't, but let's just put it out in the universe, right? All right, I'm gonna go big. Go huge. Okay. You're on TV I, right now. I want to do a song with Drake. That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, he's a goat. Um, Lil Wayne was definitely a big one too to me, but he's on the album, so dreams for me definitely come true. Um, I want to do a song with Cardi. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? That could be your princess right there in New York. You guys running things. Hey, look, man. <laughs> Um, now, with Drake, would you want to do, like, a rap Drake song, or would you want to be, like, an R&B vibe? Hey, I, we could do whatever, like, yeah. honestly, like, <laughs> that's Drake. Man.
to call me Quit talking about some loyalty you never show me I don't owe you like you never owe me Once I got a little cloud, everybody know me And we never had to prove this, we really do this You will never in the field, you was always cool Hey, what you do? One time, me two times, and she do 